In this video, I'll give a quick demonstration of how the integration between Decision Vault and Clio works. So let's say the client called in, you've captured this as a lead, uh, this person, you've captured their name, maybe their email address, maybe their phone number. And then um, to follow, you send them a link to get started on the Decision Vault questionnaire, right? So they, they get this link, they create an account, they can work through uh, the questionnaire, um, putting in information about themselves, putting in information about their children, um, they can, you can build up whole sections with just context questions, however you would want to ask questions to the client. And then um, there is a very nice and structured way of doing asset intake with Decision Vault, um, which you can then export as an Excel sheet. So you get all this information in, and then uh, the client submits the matter to you and to follow, you can look at what they've uh, submitted, right? So you can see their, uh, the different contexts that they've entered so far, any documents that they have been have provided, uh, a summary of the assets. Um, and you can take this information and sync it over into your uh, draft platform and or into Clio um, or into some of these document automations that we <laughs> are new and uh, are now integrating with. But right now we're talking about Clio. So um, there's two ways to sync with Clio. The first is to just let Decision Vault create a new matter in Clio. Um, but the more common one for the folks who like use Clio and have this embedded into your process, um, like it, it runs like how I just explained it to you. Uh, a matter already exists in Clio. So from here, I should just search uh, in my existing Clio matters, find the matter that this relates to, and um, I can let uh, Decision Vault rename the, the name of the matter to the specific numbering, how it works in Clio, uh, if you wanted to do that. Uh, but here, typically then, I have the one contact from Clio, Gordon Smith, uh, and in Decision Vault, they've filled in their entire like family tree. So we have lots more contacts here. Um, so to update and, and uh, link it to that existing matter, we have to tell Decision Vault this person um, is the same in both tools, and then the two matters are linked. Um, and now Decision Vault will update uh, rather than create duplicates, right? So we always have to sync the, the, the client. I can make a selection uh, as to which other contacts I might want to sync. Some people want to sync them all. Some people don't really want to get all the contacts into their CRM. It's up to you. Um, and once I run that sync, Decision Vault will then update or create those contacts uh, on the Clio side. So then to follow, I can uh, reopen that matter in Clio and I can see that, okay, this client record, Gordon, um, the phone numbers have been filled in, the email, the address is here, and a bunch of related contacts have shown up with, with um, their phone number, email, date of birth, address, and a couple other data points uh, that Decision Vault can transfer. Um, and then you can use those contacts in uh, Clio's either the conflict checks or in the document automation that can be done inside of Clio or with Laya behind Clio to follow. That's how the integration with Clio works. Thank you.